Hey everybody, it's Total War is here, and I am here with my first ever Total War battle for YouTube. It's gonna be a one on one land battle. Hopefully, I'll have some siege battles in the future. But um, first of all, it's gonna be Bowie and Egypt. So, starting with the Egypt setup over here, we're going to have some Borax pipemen and on both flanks. So, then we have some Glacial World Guard there and some Borax Swordsmen. With some Thorax swordsmen on this side as well. Then we have the Egyptian slingers and the Nubian bowmen. Some more Egyptian slingers out over there. Then the Carrion axemen for a general. And it looks like we've got some royal peltas here in the background. I just see two of those as of now. Oh. Did I? Okay. So that's what we can see of his army. I believe there is more here. You can see a Galician royal guard uh, materializing out of the trees. And then back across the way, we're going to have Bowie. And it's going to be sword followers, actually four sword followers. They're going to have a level one chevron. And then it's going to be the Levy Freeman. They also will have a level one chevron. And they're going to be up on these hills on either flank. Very good defensive position there for Bowie. And then some Celtic Bowmen. And then one, two, three, four, five, six Oswan. So very good. Um, Oh, sworn units, those are very good. So we have six of those. Very, very um, elite army then. As the sword followers are also very good unit. And three more Celtic bowmen kind of in the back here, unprotected. Saved by these two heavy horse back in the trees. Those are both hidden from the enemy. And then there will be two heavy horse over here as well. So it'll be interesting to see here. As Bowie has a very defensive position here with hills on both sides. Kind of defending between the hills. And gonna be nice if he can hold this position. It's very, very well done as these Levy Freeman can give some resistance for those hills, especially with that uphill advantage. They could give some extended resistance for some time while he got some reinforcements to that. This one appears to be unclimbable, if I had to guess. <laughs> it's quite steep. Um, but also, Egypt has a very good defensive position over here on this hill. With a uphill advantage, the um, bowmen would poke them on the way with ammo on the way up, and your swords, mainly thorax swordsmen. Um, but there is a third royal pultas that has showed up here, and your glacial old guard. So I assume there's a line entirely along there. Could engage them at the crest or at the very bottom of the hill, or uh, along the slope of the hill. Sorry. Over here we have a heavy horse moving up going to get intercepted by an Egyptian cavalry that came out of nowhere. And it's just looking at statistics here, we got Heavy Horse with a 42 melee attack to a 45. So, um, 27 to 25, 10 to 15, I don't know. Um, just because I know how good the Heavy Horse is, I'm going to say the Heavy Horse gets better at that, but those Egyptian cavalry actually pretty good. The Heavy Horse has a health of 90, while the Egyptian cavalry only has 80. Base morale is better for the heavy horse as well. So, very interesting there. I, I, I'm thinking the Egyptian cavalry are going to get the better of that. Oh, we got some, er, the heavy horse, sorry. Now we have some more Egyptian cavalry coming. That's going to force the heavy horse to try and flee. But those lighter um, Egyptian cavalry, lightly armored, and are going to catch up to that heavy horse. And that's not going to end well for the heavy horse here. Doesn't look like Bowie's even going to try to reinforce that with his second line. He's going to move that up a little ways, but it, he's not hurrying at all. So now this heavy horse is going to be lost to those two Egyptian cavalry. That's a disappointing loss there. Is that is a very expensive horse, a very expensive cavalry. Over here we have some more um, Egyptian cavalry. Uh, I guess it was just kind of a scouting mission there, but got run off by that heavy horse who didn't even try to pursue. So now that heavy, we got one heavy horse leaving this flank. Looks like it's going to head over here. Very um, odd setup here with the cavalry for Bowie very far out on the flanks there. Um, normally people would keep them close. If I was Bowie, I would maybe put them here. And I guess here's pretty good. I would put them my other flank on the crest of that hill. But that was up to him, I guess. Both um, troops maintaining a very defensive position, neither wanting to give up their um, strong defensive position. Now you do see some Levy Freeman here, 
moving up or maybe get a foothold on that crest of the hill. I don't know. Now we have the Egyptian cavalry lining the hill up here. Looks like the heavy horse are going to come up. Maybe try to rush them and get that hill out, get them off that hill. Got a second heavy horse there. Maybe going to reinforce that assault. Be nice for Bowie if they could take that hill. Get their archers within range of the Egyptian lines. That could be good. Now we do have some Egyptian slingers or something moving up here. Maybe it was the Nubian bowmen. I don't know. We won't know until we see that. We also have a Galatian Royal Guard advancing. Slightly not um, too much. Now Egypt not really going to try to hold that hill. Going to give it up to the Bowie. Um, until Bowie is going to try to maybe rush the archers. Those were Egyptian slingers, sorry. And the uh, Egyptian cavalry going to try to intersect that. Got some Levy Freeman support coming in there against that uh, cavalry. Maybe going to try to rush the marchers. Now it looks like it's going to try to intercept this incoming Egyptian cavalry. That cavalry going to take some javelins there. Not terrible losses, but still not great. Them Egyptian slingers could turn the tide, as well as this Galatian Royal Guard, which is moving up. The heavy horse suffering, you can see morale already on yellow, so halfway to a route. Well, not good for Bowie here is these initial engagements. They already have a slight cavalry disadvantage after losing the unit over here. And it looks like they're going to lose a Lady Freeman unit here as it does not stand a chance against that Galatian Royal Guard. We have a second Lady Freeman here coming up over the hill. I'm going to try to rush against that cavalry as well gonna have this heavy horse rather than engage the slingers gonna run clear across and try to get the ones on the complete opposite side of the field and now again a very bad move here by Bowie not doing good in these initial engagements he's gonna lose a ton of horse to that fire gonna see a ton of archer fire coming down from the walls already lost four men so not as many casualties as I would have thought but still not good for um, Bowie in his initial engagements their cavalry have suffered greatly. This Galatian Royal Guard going to turn the tide against that heavy horse. But this incoming heavy horse, not even going to get a good charge. Bad move there by Bowie once again to not follow through on that. Going to stop right there. And now let the Le Levy Freeman fight that um, Galatian Royal Guard. That Levy Freeman does not stand a chance. We do see one, two Egyptian cavalry have just routed. So that is good for Bowie. That's the first uh, Egyptian units that have officially routed. Unfortunately, it's cost uh, Bowie 3, 2 Levy Freeman, and a cavalry unit. Now, it looks like Bowie's going to withdraw, and they don't want the hill this bad. They've suffered many casualties. Looks like they're going to lose a cavalry unit right there. So that is going to end badly for Bowie. That was an unsuccessful attempt to take that center hill. Maybe should have brought in some extra force from these sword followers. Could have turned the tide there, maybe and forced Egypt back off that hill. But Bowie going to retain their cavalry unit to get that um, morale, sustain that morale just enough to get him out of the fight. And they will have three beaten and battered um, heavy horse for later in the fight. I see two Egyptian cavalry, one back here who is not engaged, still brand new. And an Egyptian cavalry here with 28 men left. Or no, sorry. Ah, I'm going to lose it. No. Oh, man. Couldn't read that. Sorry, I was reading the kill count there. It has 28 kills, not uh, 28 men left. But I'm just going to go out on a whim here. I'm going to say Egypt has a severe cavalry advantage. Here it comes back. It's 47 men left, so it has over half of its unit for some. A, just, about, just above half strength heavy horse and two, not even a quarter strength. I went, that's not good. Yeah, this one's about... They're both about a quarter strength. So painful there for Bowie in the initial engagements. They have officially lost a cavalry advantage, and the sword followers are going to fall back. They looked like they were going to advance for that center hill now, but they decided against it. Now we do have some of the Egyptian cavalry lining up on the hill once again. Looks like um, Egypt's going to press their right to that hill with a Galatian Royal Guard standing up to um, stop any Bowie another another attempt by Bowie to take that center hill. We also have some Nubian bowmen coming up, so this will be a problematic for the 
um, Bowie, if these Egyptian bowmen can establish themselves and possibly do some damage to them sword followers from very easily defended position, um, the range of the Celtic bowmen is going to be 125. It's going to be a range of 150 for the Nubian Bowmen. So the Nubian Bowmen can stay well out of range of the Celtic Bowmen and deal some massive damage to not only the Bowmen, but also the Swords. So we'll see how Egypt plays this. They could use this um, hill for the Bowmen to really destroy Bowie ranks. You can have a cavalry charge coming up out of the hill, coming up out of the trees. There are 19 men coming, and they're going to charge those... Um, slingers it would appear we do have some ca Egyptian cavalry coming down to hopefully intercept them as well as some Galatian Royal Guard gonna try to stop them looks like the Galatian Royal Guard are gonna miss and the Egyptian cavalry just aren't gonna make it in time the heavy horse is gonna get through get a blow on those Nubian bowmen but it's not gonna be enough time to route the unit um, yeah that's another waste of a cavalry unit there for Bowie they did inflict some casualties on the Nubian bowmen, but it looks like the Nubians are going to get away as that heavy horse is now tied up with a Galatian Royal Guard as well as an Egyptian cavalry. They did bring the morale down to red, um, but it's coming back up so fast that it was not worth that. They've officially lost another 19 horsemen there. Four. No losses of, to the Egyptian cavalry. I'm sorry, two losses to the Egyptian cavalry. So painful loss there for Bowie, who now is severely, severely losing in the cavalry sector. They do not have the cavalry to fight a flanking maneuver here by the Egyptians. So this could be interest take an interesting turn because of this. Bowie could really suffer. The, the Egyptians could engage even now in Bowie's amazing defensive position and encircle them with that cavalry advantage. So this will be interesting to see how Egypt, Egypt uses their advantage um, of maneuverability to overwhelm these Bowie. We do have the Nubian Bowman coming back up on to the hill. Egypt really gonna press his right to the hill and going to take that. Gonna really force Bowie to act. We see another heavy horse coming out. If I'm Bowie, I keep this heavy horse in reserve. I do not want to waste, I don't waste these heavy horse. That, it's not worth it. This is a very expensive horse, cavalry unit. Um, you just don't want to waste it. So keep that in reserve. Looks like he's going to stop. That was maybe just too threatened. But these sword followers going to adv advance and then chicken out, pull back. They're going to take some fire to the back. Lose two guys in the fire to the back and that is painful is now they're gonna lose tons of casualty take tons of casualties to these Nubian bowmen up on the hill here if they do not dislodge Egypt somehow we're gonna see that heavy horse coming up and intercepted by the Egyptian cavalry we're gonna try to lure the Egyptians back to his front ranks within javelin range of the sword followers um, yeah not gonna work there now that heavy horse gonna go back take a huge blow from them archers and gonna rout with no kills um, on the archers. It looks like that Egyptian cavalry now going to try to stop them, and they're gonna rout before they get even back to the ranks. The sword followers have went into shield wall, so this will brace them for a cavalry charge. It will also, I believe shield wall helps against missile protection. I do not know that for sure. Um, Yeah, shield strength. So maybe it does. I think it does give um, some advantage against the archers. Now we're going to see Bowie finally leave their defensive position. Going to send them sword followers up. Um, this one looks like it's committed. All four units moving forward as well as the Celtic Bowmen. But going to take some fire from that hill. Never should have um, let Egypt take that. Now going to have the Oath Sworn move forward as well. This is a all-out assault on that center hill before Egypt can get his defenses ready. But it does not look like Egypt was too prone to move up as they've left the bulk of their army. I believe this is a solid line here. We just can't see it due to the trees. I do not know for sure. But yeah, they got that Galatian Royal Guard, um, the Thorax Swordsman and the Thorax Pikemen staying back rather than trying to take that center hill. 
fills the majority of their archers. I believe three of their archers now. Doesn't look like Egypt's going to put up any fight for the hill, even. Defenses weren't ready or something. They're going to pull completely back. Oh, wait. They're sending a royal Peltas up. So they will try to intercept at least one of the sword followers. And sword followers going to come in on the royal Peltas from the flank, it looks like. But going to change their minds due to the heavy amount of archer fire that would be coming to their backs. Going to send the sword follower up here into the Peltas instead. The Glacian Royal Guard also going to turn around, but going to take some heavy archer fire. This Glacian Royal Guard, 250 kills. So good, by, good job by Egypt there. He fought the um, Levy Freeman. So maybe not quite as impressive due to the lack of unit quality that they were fighting, but still on any unit to get over 200 kills. Take some skill. So good job with the Glacian Royal Guard and Egypt as a whole. Now we've got the sword followers engaging here. Charged. It does not not look like they have shield wall on, so they did get that charge bonus. The Galician Royal Guard already getting the upper hand on that fight. But these Celtic archers moving up to point blank range, firing straight up and back down into that Galician Royal Guard. That's going to turn the tide of that fight if Egypt lets that sit. That's going to be painful. We've seen Egyptian cavalry taking some fire there as he tried to charge the Oathsworn and maybe changed his mind. Oh, looks like he's going to kind of catch the Oathsworn there on the side. Going to go completely around. Bowie completely oblivious, not even going to send his cavalry to intercept. Now, looks like that Egyptian cavalry could rout as they take some fire from the Celtic Bowman, but they're going to get some kills on the Celtic Bowman before they go down. Oh, Bowie completely oblivious to what's happening here. Moving some Oathsworn up, not even paying attention to the Egyptian cavalry, wrecking his archers. This could prove a game changer from this Egyptian cavalry. If he could, if Egypt could get not only a cavalry advantage, which I believe he lost in that charge, because that unit is rendered almost completely useless, but a um, archer advantage. This could be a game changer, depending on how this goes right here. And it looks like Bowie has now found out, and they're turning the most form back around, as well as the cavalry. And that's going to end that killing spree from the Egyptians. The Royal Peltas is going to get slammed by those um, Oathsworn, who I believe are the better of the two. 48, melee attack 62. I don't know. Their weapon damage is better while their melee attack not quite as good. Bowie got the, or the Oathsworn got the better charge bonus. Yeah, the Oathsworn are definitely the all-around better unit. But here, a Thorax Swordsman gonna get eaten up by that Oathsworn as well. Good job by um, Bowie to finally use his um, superior infantry to gain an upper hand here. We do have a sword follower who's getting rear charged by that Egyptian cavalry, as well as held in place by the Royal Peltas, and that's gonna be painful as he's gonna lose a Sword follower, 72 kills, so decent amount of kills, but again, not great for the price of that unit. That unit, I believe, is 760 denarii. I assume that's how coins are ranked in this game, how money is ranked as a whole. Okay, the Royal Peltas going to take a javelin fire there and get charged by the most Swan, who are, again, the better. Now, the Oathsworn is going to get warded off by that Pike, the Thorax Pikeman, who Bowie clearly does not want to engage these Thorax Swordsmen in the center, 41 kills and climbing against a Sword Follower with 92. So that, that a Sword Follower went down with a decent, again, a decent amount of kills, but not quite what I would expect from the price. Mostly because of bad use by Bowie. We have one Sword Follower left here with only 66 kills. That is the only Sword Follower I actually see on the map. So all the mediocre infantry for um, Bowie is gone. Now these Thorax Pikemen taking some fire from the archers, or the Celtic Bowmen. Good job to use the Celtic Bowmen, kind of keeping them in the brush here, so. I believe Egypt has one cavalry unit left right there. But Egyptian cavalry would be kind of hard for them to get that, but they should be returning some archer fire, I believe. If you want to keep your pikes, which are a very expensive unit, and a very um, formidable unit, if used in the correct way. Um, so... Looks like the sword follower is going to go down. The Glacian Royal Guard are going to give chase, but going to get countercharged by the Oathsworn here. 
So good job there by Bowie to intercept that Glacial Oak Guard. Unfortunately, did lose the Sword Follower out anyway. Now, a 4 axe Swordsman putting up resistance to this Oathsworn on the hill, but the Oathsworn definitely the best, better, better unit there. And that 4 axe Swordsman going to route already, you know, morale um, in red and now wavering. So not looking good for that Thorax, who is just going to get overrun again, another Thorax. But this one has some Archer Fire in support, as well as some Carrion Axemen, which are a very, very good Javelin unit, much like the Royal Peltas, but not quite as good in hand-to-hand. -hand. But yes, that Oathsworn, maybe not going to win due to that heavy Javelin fire. Here we get a Galatian Roll Guard beating out the Oathsworn here. This Oathsworn struggling to get the upper hand despite some kind of, I don't know, which is better. It looks like the Oathsworn is better because of a level 1 Chevron that it has there. So maybe a better unit, but it has taken some casualties. 187 kills, so clearly only 96 guys left. So yeah, that is going to go well for Egypt. It's going to be the first major um, victory against an Oathsworn. But unfortunately, it looks like it's going to cost him a good portion of his Galatian Rule Guard. As then Oathsworn will fight to the death. Now, the Oathsworn have charged. Wow, 243 kills. They've charged and they carry an Axeman. Looks like another Oathsworn firing into the backs of the Galatian Rule Guard over here. And now the Galatian Rule Guard going to get rear charged. Okay, we've got some archers even. Some slingers, sorry, getting charged by the Oathsworn. So good use of the superior infantry. Here by Bowie to really overwhelm his foe. Did not stand a chance. Now this cavalry, the heavy horse, has officially rear charged those carrying axemen and routed them from the field. That um, heavy horse, 167 kills, so good job there by Bowie to use his cavalry effectively <laughs> for once. Now we do have the Oswan coming into the back of this Galatian rule guard. But it looks like it might just be too late might not be enough to keep these Oathsworn here in the fight. There's only 34 guys left. Looks like they're going to lose at least one Oathsworn here. That's going to be the first Oathsworn that I've seen route. But these pikes, um, Bowie refusing to engage them, letting their archers handle that. You see them fleeing. Even that uh, Oathsworn, who has a numerical advantage, and could really use one unit to engage and one to encircle. But that is not going to happen. They're going to just wrap, um, run and let those archers take over. That's going to rout those thorax pikemen. And that's going to be the end of Egypt. We'll take a look at the statistics. Okay, good job by um, Bowie, who is victory for me. He did 2,067 kills, mostly on his oath swarm there. You see all, except the general, over 100 kills. Now, these heavy horse, not... Um, used quite as effective as I would have thought. These three here not getting over 55 kills. So for the price, I would say these heavy horse did not live up to the standards. Well, this one excelled and really made up for the rest there with 261 kills. The Celtic Bowman, 115, um, 89 there. So decent by the Celtic Bowman here. These two not so great. The or the not the Celtic Bowman, the Levy Freeman. Um, did decent for their price, but they were fighting Galatian Roll Guard, so they didn't stand much of a chance there. Then these Sword Followers, at least this one here, did not do good for his price at all. Um, only 19 kills, so not good at all for the um, expensive Sword Follower unit there. These three did decent, but again, but, um, not quite as good as I would have expected. The For Egypt, who was Vig, Vig um, forgive me if I said your name wrong, um, he got 50. 1,591 kills. 21 on the Carrion Axemen who were engaged before they could release all of their javelins. This is um, why we credit the low kill count. They are not good in hand-to-hand, -hand, especially against an Oathsworn, who is a far superior infantry. Um, and since he was not allowed to use all of his javelins, he did not get his full capability out of that unit. Then these cavalry did okay for their price. Um, this one here, the Egyptian cavalry, with 95 kills, doing exceptional for his price. I believe those are very cheap. I don't know the exact price on those. I believe they're somewhere in the 400s. Don't take my word on that. Um, these Nubian Bowmen, 108 there, so very good by the Nubian Bowmen. 
Um, the rest all save one scoring over 50. So good job by the um, archers of um, the slingers of Egypt. Those were very low ranking units. So very good, jo good, good job by them. <laughs> Keep stumbling over my words here. Then the Glacian Roll Guard did decent. This one um, being the exception. These two here with 337 and 143. So good job by those two to really render the casualties on um, Bowie. The Roll of Peltas did decent for their price. Again, this one here must not have been able to use all of his javelins. And then the Pikes rendered completely useless by the strategy of Bowie to avoid engagement and really let the archers take over there. So they not their fault that they did um, so bad none getting over 10 kills um, and then these thorax swordsmen again did decent for their price i'm not a fan of the thorax swordsmen personally so <laughs> they he, those were used effectively i can never hardly get my thorax swordsmen over about 50 kills as i always find they're a very junk unit thank you for watching